Practice and homework lesson 3.5. Multiply with regrouping. Estimate, then find the product. Now we know when it says estimate, we have to round. And when it says product, we have to multiply. So put an X. Number one, we have 87 times 32. So they, first they multiply two by seven, which is 14. Carry the one. Then they multiplied eight times two, which is 16 plus one, 17. So they got 174. Then they multiplied three by seven, which is 21. So they add the zero, then put the one and carry the two. Then you get eight times three, which is 24 plus two, 26. So when you add that together, you get 2,784. Now they want you to estimate. So what you do is you think 80 rounds to 90 and 32 rounds to 30. So you multiply 90 by three tens, which is three times zero is zero, three times nine is 27. Then you multiply that by 10 at the zero, which is 2,700. So you get 2,700. Number two, 73 times 28. So first we multiply eight times three, which is 24. Carry the two. 8 times 7 is 56, plus 2 is 58. Add the 0. 2 times 3 is 6. Scratch out that 2. 2 times 7 is 14. So when we add that together, it's 4 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 6 is 14. Carry the 1. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Drop the 0, add, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Let's get 2,044. Well, now we estimate. So it's 73 goes to 70, while 28 goes to 30. So we can say that is 70 times 3 tens. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 7 is 21 times 10, add the zero, and you get 2,100, 2,100. Number three, we have 48 times 38. So we multiply 38 times, or we multiply eight times eight, which is 64, carry the six, eight times four is, 32 plus 6, which is 38. Then we add the 0. 3 times 8 is 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2, 14. Now we add that together. And we get 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12, carry the 1. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and then drop the 1. Now we round. 48 goes to 50, 38 goes to 40. So that's 50 times 4 tens. 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 5 is 20 times 10, we get 2,000. So you can see that that is correct because 1,824 1, is close to 2,000. Number four, 59 times 52. So we multiply nine times two is 18, carry the one. Five, plus two, five times two is 10, plus one, you get 11. Add the zero. Five times nine is 45. Carry the four. 
5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Add that together. 8 plus 0 is 8. 5 plus 1 is 6. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. So now we round. 59 goes into 60, while 52 goes down to 50. So now we can just multiply 60 times 5 tenths. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 6 is 30. Times 10 goes to 3,000. And we see that this relates because 30, 3,000 is closer is close to 3068 is close to 3000 problem solving number five baseballs come in cartons of 84 baseballs the team orders 18 cartons of baseballs how many baseballs does the team order so now the question is asking us how many baseball does the team order so we're looking for the total now it tells us that baseballs come in 84 baseballs in one single carton. And the team ordered 18 cartons. So we multiply 84 by 18. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 3, 67, put a 0 right there, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 8 is 8, now I add that together, 2, 7 plus 4 is 11, carry the 1, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1, 15, they ordered 1,512 baseballs. But if we round that, that'd be 80 times 20. So you get 80 times 2 tens. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 8 is 16. <clears throat> times 10 equals to 1,600. So if you rounded it, it'd be 1,600. But this is the correct answer. Number 6. There are 16 tables in the school lunchroom. Each table can sit 22 students. How many students can be seated at lunch at one time? So the question is asking us how many students can be seated in one time? So we're looking for the total number of seats that are, the total number of students that can be seated at the 16 tables. So we know that there are 16 tables in the school lunchroom, and each table holds 22 students. So we multiply 16 times 22. 2 times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Put a, put a 0. Oh, put a 0. 2 times, two is, two times 6 is 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Add them together. 2, 3 plus 2 is 5. And then drop down the 3. So you, have, you can see 352 students. Number 7. Write about which method you prefer to use to multiply two-digit Two two-digit numbers, regrouping partial products or breaking apart a model. Explain why. A possible answer for number seven is, I prefer regrouping because it is easier to multiply with. Lesson check. Number one, the art teacher has 48 boxes of crayons. There are 64 crayons in each box. How many crayons does the teacher have? So the question is asking us, how many crayons does the teacher have? So we're looking for the total. 
So the art teacher has 48 boxes. Well, in each box, there are 64 crowns. So we have to multiply 64 times 48. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 6 is 48 plus 3, which is 51. Put a 0. 4 times 4 is 16. Carry the 1. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 1, 25. Now add it all together. 0 plus 2 is 2. 6 plus 1 is 6. 5 plus 5 is 10. Carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3. There are 3,062 crayons. Number 2. A baseball team scored an average of 52 points in each of the 15 games. Based on the average, how many points did the, did the team score in all? So based on the average that was given to us, how many points did the team score in all? So we want the total amount of points. So it says here that the average was 52 points in each of the 15 games. So we have to multiply 52 times 15, which is 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 1 is 26. Put the 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 5 is 5 plus Scratch that off. 5 times 1 is 5. So we add that together. 0. 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 plus 2 is 7. So the baseball team scored 780 points. Spiral review. Number 3. One Saturday, an orchid sold 83 bags of apples. There are 27 apples in each bag. How many apples were sold? So we're looking for how many apples were sold in total. So we're, we have 83 bags that were sold. And in each bag, there were 27. So we can multiply 83 by 27. 7 times 3 is 21. Carry the 1. Or carry the 2. 8 times 7 is 56 plus 2, which is 58 at the 0. Scratch off that 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 8 is 16. Add that together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 6 plus 8 is 14. Carry the 1. 5 plus... 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 1, which is 12. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So the amount of apples sold were 2,241. Number 4. Hannah has a grid of squares that has 12 rows with 15 squares in each row. She colors five rows of eight squares in the middle of the grid blue. She colors the rest of the squares red. How many squares does Hannah color red? So we know the question is asking us how many squares does Hannah color in red? In order to solve this question, we have to find out how many squares are there in total. So we know in this grid of squares, there's 12 rows of 15 in each row. So we can multiply 12 times 15. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5. Times one, is five plus 1, 6 at the 0. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. Add that together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 2 is 8, drop the 1, 180 in total. Now we need to find how many blue squares she colored. 
she colored five rows of eight squares. So five times eight equals to 40. So we can subtract that from the total number. One eight zero minus zero is zero. Four minus eight is four. Drop the one. So there are 140 tiles left. And it says here she called the rest of the squares red. So there are 140 red squares. 140 red squares. Number five. Gabriella has four times as many erasers as Leona. Leona has eight erasers. How many erasers does Gabriella have? So we're looking for how many erasers Gabriella has. So we're looking for how much she has in total. Well, it tells us that Leona has eight erasers and Gabriella has four times many. So we multiply eight times four, which equals to 32. Gabriella has 32 erasers. Number six, Phil has three times as many rocks as Peter. Together, they have 48 rocks. How many more rocks does Phil have than Peter? So we're looking at how many more rocks does Phil have than Peter? So we know Phil has three times as many as Peter. And together, they have 48. We know when together is in the question, we add. So X, which is Phil, plus y, which is Peter, equals to 48. And we know that fill, which is x, is equal to three times as many as Peter's, which is y. So we can replace x and substitute it into this equation. So it would be 3y plus y equals to 48. 4y equals to 48 because you add 3y plus y. So you divide 4 and then divide 4 on the other side. So y is equal to 12. So Peter has 12 rocks. So since Peter has 12 and Phil has three times more, we multiply 12 times three. Three times two is six. Three times three is, three times one is three. So Phil has 36, but we're not done. We're looking at how many more rocks Phil has. We subtract. So we get 36 minus 12 is equal to, six minus two is four. 3 minus 1 is 2, so we have 24 rocks.